Hi, welcome to Luton Sixth Form College Physics Podcast on stress strain and Young's modulus. Obviously, what we're talking about here is um, the behaviour of materials uh, under forces. If we imagine these two cylinders are made out of the same material, clearly this material would need a greater force to cause it to fail in stretching than this one, and that's because this has got a larger cross-section area. But if they're same, made of the same material, they must have some property in common, and that's called uh, the stress or the tensile tensile being associated with the word tension, um, the tensile stress that they fail at should be the same. So tensile stress is a useful quantity for comparing the same material in different shapes uh, and it's simply the force, the amount of force applied, divided by the cross-section area. Force in newtons, area in metres squared. So it's got units of newtons per metre squared or Pascal's is the same unit like pressure. Similarly, I hope it's fairly obvious if we have a very long wire, if we apply the same force to both these wires, same material, same cross section area, this one will have more extension than that one. But it's useful to have a property that's the same for the two wires um, so that we can define our properties for the material and then work out how any wire will behave, not one of a particular dimension. So, again, we have the word tensile for stretching. Tensile strain is the extension, which we use delta L, delta being the little Greek letter that means change in, over L. And this has no units because these would both be measured in the same unit. Normally, obviously, we measure both in metres, but frankly, they could both be in miles in this case and we'd still get the same answer. Both stress and strain work equally well if you compress something, but we wouldn't use the word tensile in that case. Um, so if we investigate um, the behaviour of materials, the convention is to plot um, strain on this axis and stress on this axis. And if we compare two different materials, the one with the steeper line is the stiffer material. Uh, and to quantify that, we define Young's modulus, which is equal to stress divided by strain. Um, it's quite possible that these materials wouldn't fail immediately. If this is glass or something like that, it would, it's a brittle material and it will fail without any plastic deformation. Uh, if this is something like steel, it's got a lower gradient, it's less stiff, and we would see some plastic deformation before it fails. Um, so this material is both stronger and stiffer. And this might be something like polythene, um, which might enjoy a huge uh, strain on failure. I think that will do for that one. Thank you.